friends, in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what happened to my body after I stopped weight training for an entire month. It started about a month ago where I actually got pretty sick. I had no energy to do anything, especially not weight training. So I thought, okay, I'll take a couple of days off, I'll heal up, I'll get my energy back and I'll start training again. Well, after a week, I still had no energy at all. Even though it was really scary, I made the decision to keep taking a rest from weight training. When I made that decision, all of these fears started to come in. If you don't know, I've lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for seven years and I have been weight training for seven years. I started training after I lost the weight to tone up and tighten my loose skin the best that I could and I've been doing it ever since. And the thought here and there when I'm not feeling good, I'll maybe stop training. But in this case, I knew I would have to stop for a bit. And all of these fears started coming in, fears of gaining my weight back, fears of losing all the muscle and all the progress that I had made. So in, in seven years since I've been weight training, I've stopped here and there if I'm not feeling good, maybe for a day or two weight training, but I've never taken, Kyle and I both, we've lost the same amount of weight, I've, we've never taken a big break from weight training. And so all of these fears, a lot of them irrational, were flooding in my head. And I was, I was worried about all the progress I had made with my loose skin, tightening and toning, building muscle. Like I had all these fears. I'm gonna gain my weight back. I'm gonna lose all the muscle. All the progress that I made, it's all gonna go out the window because I don't feel like training. But then I started looking and I'm like, okay, I haven't taken a break. I have been training the entire time, seven years, almost seven years straight, week after week, never giving myself or my body a real break. And I thought, you know what? Maybe this is my body saying it's time to pull back. And even though, this might seem weird, but this was like one of the scariest decisions I've ever had to make was to pull back. But I also knew it was right. I knew it was time to take a break. I haven't shared this, but a couple of weeks in, I started to really panic and I was checking the mirror obsessively, like flexing in the mirror going, oh my gosh, am I losing my muscle? I was like checking my loose skin and I started to weigh myself obsessively for a few days until I realized you're allowed to take a break. And throughout that time, even when I wasn't feeling good, um, I did stay consistent with my diet. I stayed within my calories. There were days when I wasn't feeling good that I didn't feel like eating my actual regular diet, but I stayed within my calories eating things I did feel like, like soup and crackers and toast, but I kept it within the calories I'm eating, which is 1,850 calories right now. And there were some days when I wasn't feeling good that I didn't feel like doing my full cardio, but I still got out and moved my body walking, you know, five, 10 minutes until I recovered. And then I went back to my normal hour of cardio six days a week and stayed within my calories, but no weight training at all. Throughout my head was telling me all of these stories. But every week when I would weigh myself, when I was weighing myself obsessively or looking in the mirror, I'd be like, wait a minute, there's nothing happening. Like I'm staying consistent with my diet and if, if anything, I'm looking at pictures and selfies and video clips of myself going, I actually look leaner. You probably wanna know my height, my weight, all that stuff. So I'm five foot four, I'm 38 years old. Before I stopped weight training, I was 139 pounds and I was a size four or five. After not weight training for a month, I'm 139 pounds and I fit in a size four or five. And um, like I have the beginning, I have, I've always had a little bit of belly fat, but I have the beginning of 11 lines, the same as before I stopped weight training. Um, I have the same amount of loose skin, the same amount of, of muscle. Um, I basically, you wouldn't know if I told you, you probably wouldn't know, honestly, that I have taken a month off of training. And- You have the I, same slippers. Oh, I have the same, yeah, the same slippers. <laughs> like, you know, 
the same everything. And um, I just did my first workout back because after taking that break, allowing my body to like pull back, allowing myself to rest, I was actually ready to train again and you guys go and watch it. I put up because you ask all the time about how I got my arms so toned after losing the weight. Well, I just did my first arm workout and I do it right along with you. So check that video out if you want to have cute toned arms. And if you want to know exactly what it ate to lose the weight and keep it off for so long, I do have two weight loss ebooks and a guilt free cookbook, which are um, the links are all down below, along with the supplements that I use huddled harder than last time, my favorite protein powder and favorite flavors ever hanging out back there. So, this is what I learned trust my body and myself because I have been doing this long enough that. I am so consistent, like 360 days out of the year, I'm consistent with my diet and with my cardio. So when I feel that pull of, I need to pull back, I can do that as long as I stay consistent with my diet. If I take a couple days off cardio or take a bit of a break off of weight training, it's not really going to make much of a difference. It might actually help me come back stronger and have a better desire to do what I want to do in cardio, in weight training and really give it in the workout because I gave myself that break. But what I also learned is I have to know two things. I have to know when I'm not feeling it, when it's time to actually push myself anyway, because I'm like trying to hold myself back. And then I also need to know when I'm not feeling it, it's okay to pull back. And so my whole life I struggled with my weight and I thought it was all about the exercise. And I spent years and hours exercising thinking that would help me lose the weight. Then through my weight loss journey, I realized it's the diet. Diet is number one. If you have that in check on point, you're eating in a calorie deficit, you don't exercise is like the cherry on top of an ice cream sundae. Diet, 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 and consistency. Those are the biggest things that I've learned. You got those on point, then you can do what you like for exercise. You can take a break. And also don't listen to me. This is, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a me. I'm wearing unicorn slippers. Yep. I don't have fingers. <laughs> Always consult a doctor before you do anything with your health, exercise, diet, that kind of thing. This is just my experience, my journey, what works for me. But that's what I learned. If I can pull, if I need to pull back and in the future, if I'm not feeling good or it's been a long day and I don't feel like weight training, I know now because I'm so consistent with my diet and my cardio, it's cool. I can take a break. I can just do this and I'll, I'll be extra excited to get back on it when it's time, when I'm feeling it. So the moral of the story, the point of the video, if you miss a day or two at the gym, as long as you're consistent with your diet, it's not gonna make a big difference. So to friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. Check out this vid and this vid and my arm vid so that you can see how I love my life, love my food, keep the weight Whoa. up, wear the slippers and get lean but not mean. I love ya, check out the links Peace. Catch you in the next video. I'm out. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.